Hello, everybody. This is Victoria from Blue Hand Arts. Uh, we just saw the um, my orchids in my garden, the um, Goringi family spring orchid, Chinese orchid. Um, we call it Xi Shen Mei. I put this here. There's a store, and I can uh, see it. But um, during the painting, people ask. Can see clear uh, for the painting process, so I put put it beside me at reference, and then uh, um, I let the camera just concentrate on my um, the the paper. Okay, to wet my brush first. And a little bit of ink and some uh, green, some green color thing. Some uh, ink with the green tone. To do the leaf. Okay, that's about the uh, leaves. Because um, actually this flower um, with the larger flower, 
and the leaves grow back to as a plant, perfectly balanced. And uh, but in the painting, I want uh, something not just X symmetrical, but some like a gesture and uh, balance, balance, like a dancing gesture, balancing, not just X symmetrical, uh, like a left and the right, just like a flipping. Um, so I did something this and uh, diagonally um, balanced. So now I will do this um, part kind of things to make the whole picture balanced at this position. Not exactly copy, just That's about the part, and the little hole to make the plant breathe bear well. And the some, the Spanish mouse, alive Spanish mouse to keep the moisture on the top of the pot. Okay, now I'm going to do some flower. Wet brush first. Okay, I use um, blue, indigo blue, and uh, uh, yellow, Chinese yellow watercolor to make some green for the flower petal. I'm going to do one towards this side, kind of a um, side view, and one side view this side, not the same height. Try to do it. It's called a uh, blossom. I mean, a uh, plum blossom, which means the flower petal kind of round, kind of roundish. 
So three outside one, and then two arms embracing. Yeah, something like that. And the one this side. Yeah, side view, the leaves not that brownish, kind of. Okay, those are two uh, flowers, flower petal I did first. And then I will do some uh, thing red for the center, dot the center. I made this very uh, red thing for the center. And then actually some very rich yellow I'm going to use to squeeze out the uh, red for the center thing. Then I'm going to do the uh, spike for the flower. The spike is kind of a purplish, um, brownish. See that? 
the spike to support the flower. And when some, with some uh, being looking, streaming being looking thing on the spikes. Very nice. So kind of the brown, purplish thing. the spikes. You know, maybe something behind leaves or in front of leaves, I don't mind the overlapping. Okay, and the weighted uh, like half dried. I will do something like the vein on the uh, spike, the stem spike. Okay, just simply do it not very precise. Yeah, that's about the uh, this flower we did and uh, for the Chinese painting we do this kind we call xie yi not elaborate not exactly copy precisely so we just do some like impression There is uh, two characters on this part, still room there. Uh, I probably write on the painting. It's called Qing Ya, means clear, clean, and elegant. It's carved on it. So clear, clean, elegant. Okay, then I will write the character, the name for this um,
春 spring。Orchids, 春兰 Xi Shen Mei. That's the name for this one. Uh, this species is called a uh, Western Guard. Western Guard. Uh, plum blossom. <laughs> Chinese lunar year. Gen Zi. And the name chop I'm going to put here. Seal paste. And I put the rubber rubber um, pad or you know magazines underneath of the paper. Press it each corner, each side, make sure all touch even. Okay, that's it. That's for the today's painting of the Chinese orchid. And now I can uh, do something to um, explain what I did on this picture and the uh,
for you to practice. As we said, um, Chinese painting, uh, especially the Xie Yi, it's like the um, extend for the calligraphy. So the strokes, strokes and the strokes and uh, the line quality, line quality. Uh, so um, no matter what kind of a flower for the Chinese, uh, orchids. The leaves are very similar, but this one kind of the uh, narrow, not very big, and not that much curvy thing. I mean, it's very stiff, strong, uh, and uh, not bend, not twist that much. However, the side view of them still, you know, uh, narrower than the narrower than the uh, facing one, so some narrower, some wider, for the width. You know, and uh, always we say uh, uh, three strokes, right? Three strokes, and uh, if you want to do this side, we all uh, as as we said, um, like a one stroke uh, dominate and uh, not just uh, asymmetric, right? So, press and leave, and the press and leave. For example, this one, we say one stroke, first stroke, kai tian di, to open the sky, and the second one, cross, to make the phoenix eye. Can be any direction. The third one, to break the phoenix eye. Okay, those three orchid leaves already. And then the other group. Or the fourth, the fifth one, to support this group of three. Yeah, these four leaves. Mm -hmm. You always can do different direction. And some shorter, some longer, uh, some, you know, uh, uh, narrower, like a side view of leaves, and some bigger. Mm -hmm. You can do also this way. 